Where are you going now?
Almost, though. Almost. Eddie, you gotta instruments every year, like, you know, like, Yeah. Oh, 
I came up, he goes, all right, let's, let's get a moving plane, triple time, and I said, well, I think that just unfortunately would mean they would play it like 40 times instead of 14. Stop playing. They're going to get lined up now. 
soon as I get the thumbs up, we're going to start, okay? So please be ready. Please be ready. That was it. That was it. That was the squad.
Good evening. Welcome to the 70th Governor Mifflin High School commencement ceremony. The 393 seniors in their cap and gowns this evening have completed all the graduation requirements, prepared, uh, prepared to commence forward in the next step in their lives. The next step of their lives could be a little scary because the world around us is constantly changing. So give a quick special shout out to ChatGPT for writing this speech for me. That was a joke. I was recently asked to explain the class of 2023 in two words. I would have to say I'm most impressed with the tenacity and perseverance they displayed during the pandemic. These seniors experienced a shutdown at the conclusion of their freshman year. Virtual instruction, the cancellation of co-curricular activities, which included musical events, athletic seasons, and art shows, impacted all of our normal daily routines. Despite constant challenges with virtual learning, online learning, asynchronous work, synchronous work, and changes in the schedule, our students have survived some of the toughest times in the history of our education system. Yet together they stand, overcoming a truly historic time in today's history. We do not know what the future holds, but there's no doubt the students in front of me right now are ready for the challenges ahead. As Michael Jordan once said, Obstacles do not have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. We work together during this challenging time, not climbing a wall, we didn't walk around it, we went right through it. And despite these setbacks, the heartbreak, and disappointment caused by something out of our control, we had a lot of success stories. Completion of internship programs, school-to-work programs, career center programs, and all the courses that challenge your thinking and your resolve. Our seniors have earned recognition at the county, district, regional, state, and national level in music, the arts, and co-curricular competitions. These graduates in front of me right now are nothing short of resilient. They carried on all of the Mifflin traditions entertained audiences with music and drama, participated in extracurricular activities, volunteered for service projects for the greater Governor Mifflin community, and inspired our youth through mentorship and collaboration. Whether supporting our athletes during competitions, enjoying those musical performances, sitting in classrooms, or just seeing all of you in the hallways, we're gonna miss the class of 2023. But before we go our separate ways, I want to take a moment to recognize an important group of people. They've worked countless hours in organizing, preparing, and delivering lessons to our graduates for the last 13 years. These special guests join us tonight from Brecknock, Kumru, Mifflin Park, the Intermediate School, the Middle School, and High School. Please join me in giving them a round of applause to all of our teachers, counselors, and support staff. While most people go through life focused on comfort and security, this senior class has been challenged by the ever-changing world we live. But since they're inspired with a strong work ethic, motivated by a desire to achieve, I have no doubt they will go forth with the drive, determination, and ambition to reach their goals. I'm confident our graduates recognize they hold the power to achieve and the resilience to keep moving forward. Although you'll be missed, we cannot wait to see what your future holds. Be kind, be safe, be a lifelong learner, and congratulations. Good evening, everyone. I am honored to stand in front of you all as we celebrate the commencement of the class of 2023's graduation. Though this is the end of an era, it is also the start of new beginnings. As we move on to bigger and better things, we will not forget the little parts of us that trace back to Governor Mifflin. Some of you I have grown close to and will be forever friends, while some of you may not know who I am, but that is okay. That's because we all have one thing in common. We will all walk away today a proud graduate of Mustang Nation. Hopefully we'll walk away today with a diploma too, but as we open the doors to whatever new journey awaits, I cannot express how thankful I am for you all for making this the best four years of my life. 
Now I present Josiana Fernandez in the singing of the national anthem. Now I present SGA President Ty Schraub. Hello, my fellow classmates, family members, and friends of the Governor Mifflin School District, Class of 2020-23. My name is Ty Schrader, and today I have the honor of speaking to you all one final time as the 2022 to 2023 Student Government President. When I was offered this chance to speak, I was told I could create whatever I'd like. So, I would like to take this opportunity to talk about a relatively plain seeming word that I believe intricately describes our class's past four years in high school, change. I chose this word because in our past four years of school, we have had yet to see two look the same. This may have seemed scary and nerve wracking back then, but now I'm ever so happy because each year we went through made us stronger, more resilient, and as prepared as we could be for this next amazing chapter in our lives. We went from middle school to high school, which was a big change to begin with, but nobody would have expected what happened to us in March of 2020. Early spring break. Yeah, about that. This was where our high school journey started, but more importantly, our first major change. We saw each, other, we saw each year looking differently than any other class that came before us. We saw early school year endings, switching learning locations on the daily, social distancing, and now we are back to what we consider normal. Throughout all of those changes, we as student government had many student-focused events as well. We had an amazing homecoming where we introduced the new concept of a royal court, movie nights to connect with friends, powder puff, spirit days to bring some extra school spirit, staff appreciation throughout the school year, and as a district, we raised over $50,000 for pediatric cancer. Now, <laughs> we are... <laughs> all right, <laughs> now we are all joined together to start our next change and chapter in our life, adulthood. We've all made it. Whether you're moving on to college, taking a gap year, joining the armed forces, or jumping straight into the workforce, we all will be changing from our current selves to newer, better selves. And I can't wait to see what that looks for everyone here. I'd also like to congratulate all my fellow peers for making it this far. And tomorrow, when we see the daylight, we remember that we are bigger than the whole sky and that us as a class went out in style. But most importantly, I'd like to thank our passionate teachers who got us this far, our administration for making all of this possible for us, our principals for always having our backs, 
and everyone who has been involved with our ever-changing journey in high school. Thank you all once again. In class of 2023, I hope you're ready for it, because this isn't our end game, but merely us getting to begin again. As the class of 2023 begins a new chapter, we would like to leave our mark by donating funds towards the outdoor classroom for Governor Mifflin School District. The class of 2023 will also be placing a bench in this space so that we may leave our own special mark on Governor Mifflin High School's campus. This classroom will continue to broaden and enhance students' education as they learn in a new perspective. Students will have access to a comfortable environment, allowing them to spend time outside in a new setting. The class of 2023 hopes this outdoor classroom makes some contribution to all students, and we wish you all nothing but the best. Good evening. On behalf of the Governor Mifflin Board of School Directors, it is my honor to accept the class gift from the class of 2023. It seems only fitting that your class has gifted our district with funds to support an outdoor classroom space. Your class understands that learning cannot be confined within the walls of a classroom. Your gift will be a positive addition and a welcome option for our teachers and students who will continue to reshape the world of education. As we move away from the traditional classroom learning to a more modern model designed to spark passion in each individual student, the bench your class is gifting to the high school will provide a new place to sit and accept the world of endless possibilities. Class of 2023, we thank you. Your teachers have worked hard to help you develop the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to prepare you for life after Governor Mifflin. Take what you have learned and do something positive that's important to you. Make a difference. Class of 2023, this is not the end of your time as a Mustang. You are simply moving on to a new role, one of an alumni. We hope you'll return and share your journey and expertise with those who follow in your footsteps. You are the pioneers in a new normal, a changed world. But Governor Mifflin will always be your home base, and you are always welcome here. I want to mention that our superintendent, Mr. Bill Bacay, is retiring at the end of June. So tonight will be the final commencement he officiates. On behalf of the school board, I want to thank Mr. McKay for his guidance and leadership. Thank you, Bill. <clears throat> On a personal note, I've had the privilege of presenting my three children with their diplomas when they graduated. And tonight, I have the honor of presenting my granddaughter, Ella Holmes, with her diploma. Congratulations, Ella, and congratulations to the class of 2023. <laughs> Work hard and always be the best that you can be. Thank you. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and of course, my fellow graduates. My name is Brenna Benz, and it is an honor to be among the first to wish you a happy graduation. The shortened version of the speech is, congratulations, you made it. However, these four words, though I hope you hear them often tonight, cannot begin to encompass just how much you have made it through. The experience of the class of 2023 was one marked by unprecedented uncertainty. 
While navigating through the academic and social pressures of high school can be difficult enough, we were faced with a global crisis during this crucial period in our lives. Standing here on the other side of said crucial period, it is clear that we have grown through these hardships into inc incredibly changed individuals. In the face of yearly challenges and uncertainty, we were still able to find opportunities to accompany our personal growth. In the past four years, the class of 2023 has taken up internships, gotten into dream colleges and universities, competed for skilled positions, joined the workforce, joined the military, made new friendships, overcame the health crises, taken care of families, traveled the world, excelled in their passions, and the list goes on. These are all accomplishments to be incredibly proud of. Any success, no matter how small, was vital to the creation of you as you are today. As you move forward beyond high school, it is completely normal to feel unprepared, anxious, or even terrified for what comes next. However, though you are entering an entirely new experience, recall that facing uncertainty is not a new concept, certainly not for the class of 2023. I hope you can draw on the perseverance and strength you display not only surviving through the challenges presented to you during high school, but thriving in spite of them. Just you sitting here today is a testament to that strength. If there is ever a time you feel your struggles are too great to bear alone as you move on from these maroon and gold halls, know that there is at least one out of the roughly 400 students in this room who understands what you are going through. These past four years have taught me that you will find support around any corner if you go looking for it. I would like to thank my friends for creating the most unforgettable memories during these past 13 years, my teachers for motivating me to push myself to excel, my band members, and of course, Mr. Casano, for reminding me to never take myself too seriously, and my family for supporting me in my high school endeavors. Lastly, I would like to thank each and every member of our graduating class for building a memorable community in our school. The talent, motivation, and personality present in this room is going to make a lasting mark wherever life takes us. I cannot wait to see what the class of 2023 will achieve. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Clayton Hickey. Thank you for being here today. Thank you to everyone who helped make this school a place that helped me and others to succeed. Throughout school, I've written and performed many presentations with both small and large audiences in front of my peers and in front of college professors. So when I was called on to write this speech, I thought it would come naturally, however, it did not. I believe that this is because this type of speech is inherently different, it serves a different purpose and has a different audience. For this speech, I had to iterate. It did not follow the rough draft, revision, final draft model. The first version of my speech was not good. I tried to change the wording, cut parts, move parts, add new parts, but there was something more fundamental wrong. I had to start from scratch. I had to iterate. I like to think of this situation in relation to the following idiom in software development that has always stuck with me. There is nothing more permanent than a temporary solution. In all complex processes, there exist points where the product is in a state that the only way to make it better is to first make it worse or to start over with a different approach. This concept is universal. It's present in software development. Trust me, I've seen and made a lot of permanent temporary solutions. It's also present in writing, machine learning, evolution, how the molecular machines in your cells hold, the transition from Newtonian physics to Einsteinian, the developments of quantum physics, 
and it will be present in the developments of what joins the Einsteinian and the quantum. There is no reason to feel bad about coming upon it. This point is what I would call a rut, or actually I would call it a local minimum, but a rut is probably easier to visualize. Pushing out of a rut is difficult and may or may not lead you to a better place. If you believe you're in a rut and you believe that there is a better approach, a way out of the rut to a place where the problems you solve can be solved, I implore you to investigate, explore if it works theoretically, and if it works out, to apply it to the real world. If you fail, you learn, you better understand the consequences of specific ideas, you find how to connect more concepts together, you become more able to devise an even better approach in the future. Don't let the idea of permanence in the idiom, there is nothing more permanent than a temporary solution, stop you and what you seek to accomplish, but let it give you courage that there is another way. Hello, parents, staff, and most importantly, my fellow class of 2023. For those of you who don't know, I'm Brady Detweiler. It is an honor to be up on this stage and giving a short speech to you all. Really, the only reason I am up here is I'm a massive nerd, which unsurprisingly lends itself quite well to academic success. That does not give me any more of a grasp on what the future will hold than anyone else here, but I figure I can at least share some of the wisdom I gleaned from reading and hope it has helped you as it has helped me. Today marks our last time as a class together with nothing but the future ahead. While we all go out on separate paths, we will all be sharing one thing, opportunity. Whether that means clubs and challenging classes in college, promotions and activities at work, or a million other smaller things, we will all be presented with the question of whether to embrace what we have been dealt or to stick with the status quo. That brings me to my first quote, Carpe diem, meaning seize the day. We need to make the most of each and every opportunity we face. We are entering the primes of our lives, so enjoying all of our time and making the most of it is essential. Not every opportunity will work out or even be enjoyable, but you will be better off for taking them. We need to seize every opportunity we get. We need to seize the day. Why do we have to take these opportunities, though? Life would be so much easier if we could just coast and enjoy, not worrying about work and not needing to do much. Opportunities can provide challenges and be uncomfortable, so why should we take advantage of them? That is where my second quote comes in. Ex nihilo nihil feet, or from nothing comes nothing. If we do nothing, nothing will come of our lives. I have spent 13 years with many of you, and I can assuredly say that this is a group of incredibly talented people. From great artists to athletes, the vastly intelligent to excellent musicians. All of us have great talents, so it would be a shame if we all allowed nothing to come of it. Making the most of our opportunities is our way to impact the world, to lead enjoyable lives. Remember, from nothing comes nothing, so pour your passion into opportunities and make the most of them so you can leave your mark on the world. I want to thank our teachers for being there for us and doing their best to teach and prepare us. I also want to thank our parents who supported us all throughout our childhood. Finally, class of 2023, I want to thank you all for a phenomenal last couple of years with plenty of highs and lows, plenty of opportunities taken, and hopefully at least a little learning. Congratulations to you all. Graduation is both an accomplishment and a milestone. I wish you nothing but success in the future. And remember, carpe diem, ex nihilo nihil fit.
Everyone, please stand and join us in singing the alma mater. The Governor Mifflin School District recognizes the value and importance of the education our students at the Career Center experience each year. At this time, all Career Center students please stand and let us acknowledge the certifications earned and programs completed. Good evening. We would like to honor those graduates who, upon graduation, will enter our armed forces. Graduates entering the military, please stand. <laughs> Hannah Luscombe, Marines. Giovanni Lozano Gonzalez, Marines. Kay Kayla Witzel, Marines ROTC. Timothy Rao, Marines. Connor Reitmeyer, Air Force. Justin Lopez, National Guard. Daniel Marsh, National Guard. Angie Muniz, National Guard. Sal Machione, Navy. Grant Kellenberger, Coast Guard Academy. Janessa Acevedo, Army. Ethan Griffith, Army. Jaylin Gonzalez, Army. Lydia Kitch, Army ROTC. Ariana Santiago, Army. Good evening, seniors, families, friends, and community members. So class of 2023, this is your night. You've made it through an incredible 13-year journey. I want to start by asking you to take a moment to think about and thank the people that have supported you, cared about you, and most importantly, loved you throughout those 13 years. For each of you, that's a different list of family members, teachers, and friends. Although he's not of your generation, I want to share some words tonight from Fred Rogers, or as he's better known, Mr. Rogers. Later tonight, you can ask your parents or grandparents or chat GPT and find out more about Mr. Rogers. But here's what Mr. Rogers has to say about those that have helped us. From the time you were very little, you've had people who have smiled you into smiling, 
people who have talked you into talking, sung you into singing, and loved you into loving. Some of them may be here right now. Some of them may be far away. Some may even be in heaven. But wherever they are, if they've loved you and encouraged you and wanted what was best in life for you, then they're right here inside of you, right now and always. And I feel that you deserve quiet time on this special occasion to devote some thoughts to them. So let's take a moment and honor those that have cared about us all along the way, one silent moment starting now. Whomever you've been thinking about, imagine how grateful they must be that during your silent times, you remember how important they are to you. It's not the honors and prizes or the fancy outsides of life which ultimately nourish us. It's knowing that we can be trusted and that we're loved, that we never have to fear the truth, that the bedrock of our lives from which we make our choices is built on very good stuff and truly wonderful people. Now, class of 2023, think about the journey that brought you to this time and to this place. I know many of you returned to your elementary schools on Tuesday. Did those buildings seem a little bit smaller to you than what you remembered? Did you think about recess, field day, going out on the playground? Do you remember spending the entire day with your kindergarten or your first grade teacher? Hopefully you had a chance to say hello to some of those former teachers. Now, let's fast forward to your freshman year. I'm sure many of you had some anxiety about going to the high school, finding your classrooms, being the youngest students in the building. However, as the year progressed, you settled in and made GMHS your new home. Then, on March 13th, the world stopped spinning and everything came to a halt. Everyone went home and stayed at home for the remainder of your freshman year. But then you came back to a very different looking sophomore and junior year. Half days, asynchronous learning, masks, physical distancing, building closures for deep cleaning, vaccine clinics, outdoor venues for homecoming and prom. And now, most importantly, your senior year. Your graduating class of 2023 led us out of the dark and back into the light of Mustang Nation. All of you played an important role in rebuilding what school should be, why it's important, and never to take anything for granted. You've become endlessly curious and radically empathetic. And for that, the Greater Governor Mifflin community will be forever grateful to the class of 2023. I want to wrap things up this evening by sharing some thoughts in the class of 2023 from the real experts on your senior class, the people sitting to your left and to your right on the floor of the arena with you this evening, the people that have walked with you during your amazing 13-year educational journey, your teachers. Here's what they have to say about this year's seniors. When asked what words best describe your class, these were the five words that they used the most. Resilient, talented, Determined, involved, and then fun, always the fun. When asked to share more thoughts related to our graduating seniors, here are some of the thoughts that were shared by your teachers. I love teaching the class of 2023. Their friendliness and passion for learning made it an honor and a privilege for me to teach them. In 25 years of teaching, no class achieved more in my classroom during all four years of their high school career strong academically and fun to teach, very hardworking, and they challenge each other to perform at their best. These seniors focused on the positives around them and engaged in opportunities that cultivated relationships and made Mustang Nation a great place to be. This group of seniors brought happiness, fun, and enthusiasm to not just the building, but to all the activities they attended and participated in. This class came into ninth grade with energy and enthusiasm some of the highest achievers and hardest workers I've encountered in 25 years of teaching. Their presence will be truly missed next year. And one final statement shared by a teacher that puts it all into perspective for this evening. Watch out world, these kids are on fire. Congratulations class of 2023. We know that you'll go out into the world and become creative, curious, caring neighbors and citizens. People who will build stronger communities and a loving world. Tonight begins that journey. And when you leave here tonight, never forget, once a Mustang, always a Mustang. Congratulations. And now, for the minute you've been waiting for, 
and the presentation of our diplomas. Our first two diplomas for Governor Mifflin graduates number 20,423 and 20,424 will be presented to your class president, James Gossard, Jr. And your class vice president, Liliana Campitelli. Then call the class roll. As your name is called, please come to the stage to receive your diploma. Cassandra A. Gebhard. Madison Sarah Basler. Brenna Sue Bentz. Brady Detweiler. Clayton Lopez Hickey. Ty Dylan Schroeder. Magfira Abdelkader. Janice Acevedo. J. Lix J. Acevedo. Eric E. Acosta. Caitlin E. Adams. Charles H. Ahern. Jackson Brett Albrecht. David Alicia Jr. Grayson Serafina Amato. Emily Elizabeth Anders. Carly Noel Angstadt. Hayden Emerson Shooker. Nadia Elizabeth Kurtz. Emmy Marie Angstadt. Aiden Matthew Asimez. Jeremiah Allenbach. Carla Naomi Ayala Castro. Marley Bacon. Alina Baez. Karen Baez. Owen Michael Balthaser. Christopher Joseph Barrett. Ruby Yolanda Texador. Janissa Jada Baez. Jasmine Lee Barillas. Ashley Batista. Noel David Batista. Gabriel Alexander Bauer. 
Haley Elizabeth Bauer. Jackson Gray Bauer. Brayden Robert Boucher. Ethan Robert Beeler. Mackenzie Leah Bierman. Greta Marie Bender. Jonas Bennard Blake. Alexis Cidalia Bonet. Taylor Rose Beatty. William R. Bosch, Jr. Gavin Alexander Bouchard. Liam Brom. Nyana J. Brady. Emma Rose Buffington. Bryson Joseph Burke. Blake A. Campbell. Sarah Canella Enola. Brandon Robert Carl. Sanaya Marie Carlisle Rogers. Edgar Caramelino Rodriguez. Jelani Bianca Cintron. Hannah E. Brinton. Alexander Angel Chown. Alexia Marie Cavallucci. Marie Alexandra Choro Chavez. Julian Anthony Calmarino. Kelly Page Cooper. Jamar Cordero Gonzalez. Dylan R. Correll. Savannah Lynn Fay Correll. Natalie Emma Kramer. Aiden McGuire Clark. Manuel Vasquez. Eric Allen Derringer. Isabella DeFries. Mohammed A. Diallo. Tyler Jack Di Natale. Dana Marie Dotson. Johnny Dominguez Zavala. Emmanuel Donato Tomas. Faith Noel Drago. Matthew Stephen Drake. Aiden M. Debrow. 
Zachary William Dunker. Josiana Leah Fernandez. Jonathan Emilio Ebling. Michaela Lee Eisenhower. Cadence Nicole Ellenberger. Jada Ali Emmerich. Connor Allen Weant. Joshua Nathaniel John Eskridge. Mackenzie Elizabeth Ettinger. Kimberly Eustachy. Jose Joel Figueroa. Timothy Philipson. Benjamin Flores. Benjamin P. Fogt. Nevin A. Folk Rivera. Madeline Abigail Franco. Mackenzie R. Frank. Samuel Holden French. Ellie Samantha Freelander. Paige Olivia Freiberger. Aiden Thomas Gall. Kelsey Luann Garman. Alberto F. Giraldi. Peter Christian Glass. Nathan J. Glavinsky. Leah B. Grenier. Ethan Griffith. Dana Marie Gomez. Diomedes Gomez. Jaylin Nani Gonzalez. Samira Elena Gonzalez. Kalia Jasadi Gonzalez. William Gonzalez Jr. Aubrey H. Good. Fallon Jade Williams. Jameson C. Williams. Sydney Michael Grimm. Kevin John Gronsky. Dakota Charles Groover. Cadence Grace Geisway. Wayne Nicholas Guy III. Zayden Isaac Harris. Tamaya Love Harris.
Tyshawn Harris. Elijah Harrison. Hunter R. Hart. Quinn C. Harder. Tynan R. Harder. Nazir Isaiah Hart. Fallon Rose Hickey. Kyle Hayes. Caitlin Ann Hearn. Logan Allen Hensley. Emily Page Hammer. Giselle Lizette Hernandez. Guadalupe Armando Hernandez Gonzalez. Joanna Faith Zeller. Michaela Cortland Hernizen. Joshua Carter. Hannah Lynn Hivner. Ethan Ryan Hoke. Felicia Nicole Hummel. Caitlin Nicole Jones. Ella Louise Hoffman. Ethan Hoffman. Ella Bryn Holmes. Dakota Violet Hope. Megan Maria Hopman. Sophia Page Horowitz. Liam Samuel Jacobs. Ava Lynn Jarman. Nasir Fahim Jessiano. Grant Timothy Kellenberger. Gabrielle Maria Capala. Jocelyn Marie Kalis. Matthew L. Kepley. Daryl A. Key. Damian Alexander King. Lydia Rose Kitch. Logan J. Kohler. Alexander Nur. Tyler Peter Noop. Abigail Louise Cole. Aiden Joseph Cole. Ethan Michael Kozak. Destiny Vinay Lolly. Sophia A. Landis.
Nicholas Robert Cozo. Aiden F. Kraus. Amanda Koo. Annabella Caroline Lappy. Filippo Nardinelli. Giovanni Arcino La Luna. Hannah Denise Labrin. Colton D. Lolly. Marina Gabriel Lauer. Matthew Little. Tyler Berdahl Long. Thomas C. Linares. Rachel Hannah Lehman. Alexander Jacob Lees. Owen Dylan Lehman. Madeline Hat Leibowitz. Nicholas Carmen Lienti. Francesca S. Lisa. Talia E. Litwin. Aiden Thomas Long. Lindsay Sue Long. Dalton Robert Longacre. Jose Angel Lopez. Adrian J. Lopez Gonzalez. Justin Lopez Santana. Kayla Mackenzie Williams. Hannah Janine Luscombe. Salvatore Augustine Machion. Dalton Charles Mayers. Anthony Oliver Maniachi. Jing Marie Maniachi. Christopher Stephen Mangan. Daniel Walker Marsh. Kara Charlene Marzak. Leighton John McElwain. Aiden Marquise Martin. Steven Martinez. Talitha Victoria Martinez. Nia Teresa Martinez Vicens. Taylor Ann Maranac. Christian M. Misson.
Elizabeth Caitlin McAndrew. Shane Patrick Matthew. Ali Mariana May. Shakila Lanice Mayo. Andrew David Matthew. Melanie M. Medina. Veronica Ann Miller. Chase Robert Young. Jarrell McNeil. Delson E. McNeil. Brian Medina Soto. Isaac William Menure. Sophia Seven Yakamowitz. Chase Anthony Miller. Paige A. Motes. Emily Lauren Turner. Angelise Mitchell Munez. Sierra Alexis Milan. Tyler James Minnick. Julissa Miranda. Syed Zaid Mohammed. Enrique Monteverde III. Jacob Allen Mounts. Xander Shane Moyer. Nolan Patrick Murray. Kirsten Danae Musser. Kate Elizabeth Noggle. Angel Nevado Jr. Kyle Philip Wodehouse. Michaela Joy Nelson. Allison Miriam Sophia Norris. Evelyn Surin Norris. Matthew James Novotny. Ashley Denise Nunez. Damian R. O'Brien. Dominic Adam Orlando. Colby James Orendorf. Paige Annalise Orth. Anaya Ortiz. Jazz Marilyn Ortiz.
Krissa Therese Owens. Jeremiah Lewis Pagan. Carmen Passanelli. Kush Patel. Jameson H. Pauling. Jelena Gianna Pena. Jeliana Lynn Perez. Liliana Sky Peterson. Faith J. Phillips. Jalea Mercedes Pletz. Alexa J. Marie Wright. Jonathan Ryan Redwanski. Jaya M. Ron. Adam John Plummer. Brayden Ryan Reese. Gillian A. Rhodes. Harlow Rose Ramirez. Gracie Elizabeth Ramsbottom. Timothy James Rao. Kylie Ryan Reeser. Connor Marie Ryder. Connor Cobain Reitmeyer. Autumn Olivia Rentschler. Alexander M. Resto. Nevin Scott Ratu. Clayton Lee Reynolds. Amari John Rhodes. Jayla Andrea Jean Richardson. Campbell Elizabeth Ricketts. Patrika E. Reby. Elena Gatan Rinker. Alicia Catherine Rivera. Isaiah Anthony Rivera. Jaylin Lola Rivera. Isaac Jose Rivera Julio. Colin H. Roberts. Diego Rodriguez. Marvin Rodriguez. Rachel Rodriguez. Alanis B. Rosario Valentin. Cy Kenneth Roth. (laughs) 
Jared Daniel Rowe. Maryam Salama. Jennifer L. Sanchez. Marcos Sanchez Murphy. Christian A. Sanchez Peralta. Ariana Yvette Santiago. Zadieli Ivani Santos Brioni. Marin Grace Sarba. Jackson Reed Schlegel. Sophia Margaret Schmel. J. Robert Shannon. Jackson S. Schools. Rory Kathleen C. Emma K. Seifert. Matthew W. Sang. Madison Nicole Schaefer. Michael H. Shannon. Zachary T. Scheide. Brooke Lynn Shooker. Alyssa Faye Silzer. Kiesen Spencer. Hartej Adam Singh. Jade S. Skipper. Tatiana Solalinde Arango. Araceli Solis. Casey M. Souders. Heather Sabaleta Paez. London Joelle Stewart. Justin Allen Stricker. Hannah Caitlin Sturtz. Catherine Gray Zimorowski. Chase M. Tecklenburg. Angelo R. Tolui. Adrian A. Tenazaka. Denton David Terry. Kareem Abraham Zock. Sarai A. Thompson. Nazir Thorne. Jordan Stephen Tiger. Anya Grace Zadlow. Yeah. 
Tyrone E. Tobin. Michael Evan Torres. Joel Torres Roman. Son the Trin. Jaden Iris Vera. Egoso Washington. Darian Troche. Riley Elizabeth Troilo. William E. Troy. Brianna Page Umstead. Hunter Tyler Unger. Abigail Lisandra Urbina. Kenneth Gabriel Vargas. Jose Manuel Vega Jr. Isaac Andrew Velasquez. Alexander Velez. Matthew Ray Ventura. Melania Victoria, Victoria Vickers. Casey Wanninger. Emily J. Watkins. Kaya Renee Watts. Joseph J. Widener. Zachary Russell Weinstein. Gabrielle Taylor Wells. Jack B. Worley. Caitlin Marie Werner. Robert John Werner. Joshua Christopher Wirt. Kayla Witzel. Peyton Rain Wirt. Peyton Alexandra Whitman. Zachariah Ryan Wonderlich. Aiden John Young. Josai D. Green. Sydney Jean Zimmerman. And Zoe Regina Zimmerman.
Class of 2023, please stand. It's now, it's now my privilege to exercise the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Governor Mifflin Board of School Directors, to declare each of you a graduate of the Governor Mifflin High School. Class of 2023, congratulations! Thank you. Good evening, staff, guests, parents, and fellow graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I'm truly honored to have served as your class president, and tonight we celebrate our achievements and education 13 years in the making. Just four short years ago, we started our high school careers. However, seeing the way freshman year ended, I knew our class was going to face some serious challenges, which we did. However, amidst the pandemic and various roadblocks, we have made it to this momentous occasion, and this ceremony is a testament to our class's perseverance. But we cannot be here if it were not for our teachers. I'd like to thank them as they deserve recognition for leading us through our academic careers. Many of the teachers here have inspired us and lit a fire igniting interests in topics we never thought we'd like. I can stand here confidently and say because of the inspiration and teachings, this class is one of the most knowledgeable, talented, and academically competitive classes that has come out of Mifflin in recent years. I would also like to thank two teachers whose classrooms I have never been in, but they've taught me everything I know. Mom and Dad, thank you for pushing me, teaching me, and shaping me into who I am today. It is because of you both that I can accredit my successes. I hope to continue to make my, you proud, as I'm sure my classmates hope to do with their loved ones as well. This year, I had the privilege to take local history with Mr. M. Kurtz and learned about one of, one of Mifflin's most famous graduates, John Updike. John Updike was valedictorian and class president. He went on to graduate summa cum laude from Harvard and win various Pulitzer Prizes. He once wrote, many are called, few are chosen, but it might be you. It can be you. You could be just like the many Mifflin graduates, authors, artists, athletes, gold medal Olympians, and many others. Just because we are graduating in a small town in Pennsylvania does not mean that we cannot go on and achieve great things. It is now up to us to lead, to take risks, and build a successful future which this ceremony marks the cornerstone of. I was once told that the habit of how you spend your time is very important. You're the average of the five people you spend most of your time with, and to choose to associate with people who are confident, optimistic, resilient, and exceptional. I was fortunate enough to know people at Mifflin and in this class that meet those criteria. That is why we are who we are and why we are here tonight, the exceptionalism of the students and our successes. While today may mark the end of a chapter in our lives, we must always remember the lessons we've learned. Earlier this year, I was able to interview a veteran of the Second World War, a recipient of the Congressional Gold Medal. I asked him what piece of advice he had to give to students. He said it was simple, to cherish your education because he was never able to do so himself given his service overseas. I hope that tonight we can cherish our education and whatever we go into. Whether we further our schooling, go right into work, or serve our country, we should cherish our experiences, because knowledge is the most powerful weapon in life. So to the class of 2023, if you hear nothing else tonight, hear this. Tonight is bittersweet. 
We have fought hard and now our work pays off. We are all equal now and the future is a blank page and it is up to us to write it. As long as we carry into the coming years the same qualities that have been instilled in us by our loved ones and teachers, there is simply nothing beyond our capacity if we continue to persevere. While we may not know exactly what we'll do in life, you can't know what a movie is about until it ends. And tonight, our movie is just beginning. Thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2023.